What is two and three quarters written as an improper fraction? Well, if we think about the mixed number two and three quarters, what it means is that we've got two holes, so in this case two whole bars, and three quarters of another one. And here we've split our whole bars into quarters, so we can count up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven quarters altogether. But to convert mixed numbers to improper fractions, we don't always have to draw out bars. Instead, we can do 2 times 4, so that's multiplying the whole number by the denominator. That gives us 8, and then we can add the numerator, so add 3. Now 8 plus 3 is 11, and that tells us what number will be in our numerator in our improper fraction. And the number in the denominator just stays the same. Now, what is four and a half written as an improper fraction? Well, we can see four and a half here. And we can see that if we split our whole bars into halves as well, then we've got nine halves altogether. But if we don't want to waste time drawing out a diagram, we need to multiply our whole number by our denominator so 4 times 2, and then add our numerator. So 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9, and that's the number in our numerator. The number in our denominator stays the same. Now sometimes you might have an improper fraction, and you might want to write it as a mixed number. So here we have 25 eighths. So if we remember that a whole is 8 eighths, because we've divided it into 8, but we've still got the whole thing shaded, so we've got 8 parts out of 8 shaded, then we can start to think, what might 25 eighths look like? Well, there's 8 eighths, which means there we have 16 eighths, there we have 24 eighths, so then we need one more eighth to make 25 eighths altogether. So if you counted up, you'd have 8, 16, 24, and one more makes 25. So you can see here that we have three whole bars and then one eighth of another bar. So we have three and one eighth as our mixed number. But like converting the other way, you don't have to draw out diagrams. What we do to convert an improper fraction to a mixed number is divide. And that's not surprising really, when you remember that a fraction really is just a division. So when we do 25 divided by 8, we get 3 remainder 1. And you'll notice that the whole number we get is the whole number in our mixed number, and then the remainder that we get is the numerator in our mixed number, and the denominator stays the same. So now, what is 23 sixths written as a mixed number? You might want to pause the video here and see if you can work it out. Well, if we remember that 6 sixths, or 6 parts out of 6, is the same as a whole, then we can see here we have 6 sixths, here we have 12 sixths, here we have 18 sixths, and to get to 23, we need 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. We need another 5 sixths. So we have 3 whole bars, and then we have 5 sixths of another bar. So as a mixed number, 23 sixths 
is the same as 3 and 5 sixths. But rather than drawing out bars, we can work it out by dividing 23 by 6. It gives us 3 remainder 5. And so the whole number is the whole number in our mixed number, and then the remainder is the numerator of our mixed number, and the denominator stays the same.